Guys, good afternoon from the National Museum of Indonesia in the city center of Jakarta. And now I'm here again. And behind me is a sculpture or a statue, whatever they call it. It's a statue, a statue of an elephant given by the Thai king when Jakarta was under Dutch colonial rule. And here we can see a statue of the vehicle of Shiva, which is the destroyer god according to Hindu mythology. Well, these are Buddhist images, images of Buddhist saints or Bodhisattva. This is a statue of Ganesh. Another statue of Ganesh. This is a Buddha image. This is a miniature of a temple. I'm here now, just where I was exactly two months ago, filming here. These are statues of Tao Tao spirits, which are corpses of noblemen from the Toraja tribe in South Sulawesi. These are grave markers belonging to the indigenous people of Borneo, of Kalimantan. This is a drum. This is an inscription, uh, Padrao, which is a Portuguese inscription. These are books for, I don't know what they, they were used for. I think it's a calendar for agriculture. These are images of the shadow puppets. These are ceremonial equipments. Again, shadow puppet images. These are images of maybe guardian gods which were revered by the Bakbak tribe of North Sumatra before Islam and Christianity spread to the area. This is an image of the indigenous people of Indonesia. The position of the Indonesian archipelago makes the Indonesian archipelago inhabited by a variety of people groups. This is a diagram about the migration of humans and animals to the Indonesian archipelago. This 
as a fossil of a prehistoric animal. This is an image of early humans, Homo erectus, This is a bone of an early human. These are fossils from the sea. These are fossils of the horns of the bull, the buffalo and the deer. This is an image of the life of early humans. Elephant fossils, hippopotamus fossils, This is a replica of an early human burial. This is a replica of a cave where the early humans lived. And look at this. We can see the bones of early humans. This section is the knowledge and technology section of the National Museum. This is an image of a ship from the Borobudur Temple. which shows that the people of Indonesia have been involved in sea trade since the ancient times. These are all inscriptions from the ancient times in Indonesia. Another ancient inscription. And this great big stone is the inscription of Arutun. This is the foot of King Purnawarman. I've been to the real place where this inscription is found, which is not very far from Bogor. Inscriptions, yet again, inscriptions. This is a chart which shows the comparison of alphabets in Southeast Asia. The Latin alphabet was introduced to Indonesia during the era of European col colonialism. This is Arabic script. When Islam became the dominant religion in the Indonesian archipelago, Arabic script became the official script for writing in the languages of the Indonesian archipelago.
these are components of modern ships, speed controller, yet again components of a modern ship, These ships are traditional ships. This is a globe. This is a ship compass, ship lamp. This is a replica of the Borobudur temple. This is a replica of a house, a Javanese traditional house. This is a replica of a traditional house belonging to the Dayak people, the indigenous people of Borneo. This, I think, is a replica of a traditional Malay house belonging to the Malay people of Sumatra. These are equipments for processing food. This is a cannon. This is a bow and arrow belonging to, I think it belongs to the indigenous Papuan people. Yes, it does. This is a shield. These are weaving equipments. This is a carrying pole. In Indonesian, it's called a pikulan, which is used by traders. These are Indonesian fabrics. This is a bull cart, or it's called padati in Indonesian. This is a traditional ship belonging to the Madaris people. This is a bag, a traditional bag. This bag is used to carry the harvesting. It's made from bamboo. This is a decoration for the ships. These are equipments that people use to make tools. These are replica of traditional houses of the indigenous ethnic groups of Indonesia. Lay house, I think. This is a replica of a Javanese traditional house.
a wardrobe. And this is a replica of a Minangkabau traditional house, or as they call it, Rumah Gadang, or Rumah Bagonjong. Another traditional house, I think this belongs to... These are Indonesian traditional fabrics, and this one is from the island of Sumba. This is a replica of a traditional house belonging to the indigenous people of Borneo, the Dayak people. These are the traditional boats used for fishing. This is a fishing net, another fishing net. This is a replica of a traditional house belonging to the Toraja people of South Sulawesi. This is a replica of Balinese traditional architecture. Decorations for fishing boats. This is a cart. Yet again, we can see Indonesian traditional fabrics. Indonesian traditional fabrics. Again, we can see this is ulos, which is a fabric belonging to the Batak people of North Sumatra. This is the fourth floor of the National Museum of Indonesia. But unfortunately, I shouldn't be filming inside. And that's it for today. See you in some other location.